All right, so if you are completely new to Taco, absolutely brand new, you haven't played a raid, and you want to learn how to make money as a solo PMC, you don't want to rely on anybody else, you want to make money, um, this is the guide for you. We're going to talk about loadouts, a specific plan on how to make money, um, how to figure out where you are on the map, and everything everything you need to know to make money by yourself without relying on anyone if you're absolutely brand new to the game. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start with a loadout. So we're going to start with a headset, which is the GSSH from Prapor, buy one of those, and then from Ragman, either buy this tier 3 armored rig, one of those, or um, a packer plus the bank robber. We'll just go with the armored rig for now, but if you die and you can't buy another one of these, pick up packer and bank robber, or the floor and bank robber, um, either is fine. And then also from Ragman, we want a bag, the burkut. Burkut is slightly bigger, um, but if you can't buy any more burkuts, then rock the MBSS. And then for the gun, we're going to pick up a VPO 136 for the gun, as well as the Bastion Dust Cover, the RP1 Charging Handle, the NC Star Tactical Laser, the RK6 Foregrip, and then move over to Rapor. We're going to pick up the AK Polymer Pistol Grip, um, the AK100 Polymer Handguard, and the AKM muzzle brake compensator. And finally, over at Peacekeeper, we want the Burris Fast Fire Weaver, Fast Fire Weaver base and the Burris Fast Fire uh, Reflex Sight. If you can't buy these, um, you need to buy some dollars. Um, so you just you know you need to buy some dollars here from Peacekeeper as well, and then and then you can you can buy those two parts. Um, and now to build the VPO, you just want to take off the take off the um, this little iron sight thingy, dust cover, pistol grip, that one which is the muzzle device, the handguard, and then you can drag on drag on all your parts. Um, there, 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 and there. And this should be your final gun. I made a preset. This will be your final gun. Instead of dragging it on, you can also use the modding modding um modding window. Um this is my recommended starting gun, however, uh in my gun build, my starting gun build guide which I'll link below. There are a variety of different guns that you can use straight from level one, and some of them need level two, which is very easy to get. So we'll equip that. Alt click to equip. Quick equip. You can drag it on as well, but I prefer alt clicking. It's faster. Alt click all of those. Now we're going to unload the mag and right click, filter my item by one more mag. Should do it. One more mag. Then we're going to go to prepper and we need some ammo. So we're going to rock 762 by 39 PS. Just by 120 of these. 120 should do. Now to fill up the mags, you can just drag on, drag the bullets on, or load ammo PS. PS. Drag one into the gun. And you want to put this extra stack in your pouch. So in raid, if you've used up some ammo in raid, then you just want to drag it on the mag to repack it. So instead of you know packing like an extra few mags and it having uh, taking up our uh, space for loot, we're just going to pack extra rounds. And for meds, we're going to go to therapist. We need two AI twos, which are called cheeses colloquially, uh, two bandages, two splints, and two painkillers. Now you can for heavy bleeds, you can use um, these torn case. However. If you still need to level up Peacekeeper to level 2, you need to spend money with Peacekeeper. So I prefer to buy his tourniquets so that because it's doing the same job and you're leveling up Peacekeeper. So we've got two of each. Put all those on. Control click to move them to your character. We'll put one 
one of each up here. And except for the split, they can they can just live in your bag, and you can hockey them like this. Um, there are, there are more fancy ways where you can have them all hockey to like to like one button, but I prefer to have them separately. And then um, if these run out, then move them up from your bag and hockey rehockey them. And as for your your either um, alpha, for if you if you're on a standard account, you'll have an alpha container. Which has which is two by two. If you're on EOD, you'll have a gamma container three by three, and one of the additions in between will have a beta, which is um, two by three. In here, you can put your meds. Can you put your meds? Um, you can put money as well. So maybe put like put like twenty uh, k in there. This will be used for a car extract, um, where you pay money to a car to get out. Now you can't buy the CMS or reserve yet until you get level 15. Um, however, if you do still have one or you have one somehow, you've looted one, then it would be nice to, to put one of those in here. Um, if you have room, CMS for for your standard edition alpha container and serve for your um, EOD, uh, if you have EOD with a gamma container. Um, but otherwise, otherwise this will, this will be fine. You, these, what these will do is if your limbs are blacked, then the only way to unblack them and heal them is using either a CMS or a survival kit. But but if you get a blacked limb without using without one of these available, then you can pop painkillers and and walk or run on the limb. You will be taking damage, but you may as you, you might be able to just like book it to extract without before well, before you die to the limb damage. All right. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to figure out where you are on the map. And so what, what I want you to do is to go woods, hit next, preferably go daytime, somewhere in between like 7 a.m. or even 6, 6 to 1800, um, even 1900 is okay. Enable offline mode and then click ready. So enabling offline mode will let you load into a solo raid in which nothing counts. So you're not going to be able to pull out any loot, but you're also not going to lose anything. So it's the perfect mode for learning, just getting your bearings, learning learning the map. So I want you to open up the map in the description, which should bring you to this map here. You can hit hide all and then only select extraction initially. So the very first thing I want you to do once you load in is prone. X to prone. And then double tap O, double tap O to check your extracts in the top right. Now you're always going to have either UN Roblox or Outskirts. Don't worry about any of the other any of the other extracts. Just worry about UN Roblox or Outskirts for now. Um, so as you can see here, we have UN Roblox. Now let's go back to our map and locate UN Roblox on the map. All right? So is it up here? So over here, it's over here. Okay, so now we know where our extract is, but we don't know where we are, right? So in order to figure out where we are on the map, is we're gonna pick one direction to go in, and then we're gonna look for one of four landmarks, four big landmarks, either big lake, small group, lots and lots of small lakes, big river, or a long line of warning signs, which will be which will be the minefield over here. Okay, so pick a direction, and we're going to find one of those. So let's go. And it kind of seems like we found a big lake, right? Nice big lake over here. Pretty big lake. All right, so now we go back to our map. Back to our map. And so we know that we're somewhere on the shore around here, right? So the next thing you want to do is look, take note of the smaller landmarks around the edge of this lake. So we've got, we've got like a, like a rock jutting out into the lake. We've got a jetty with a boat here. Um, another rock sort of jutting out into the lake. Another sort of jetty, jetty here, 
some rocks, some rocks in the lake, another one, maybe like a car or a van there, little boat there, what else, and maybe like a wall with a rock, with, with little rocks overlapping into the lake, so now keep those smaller landmarks in mind, and we're going to follow the edge of our large landmark until we run into the one of those, and then once we do, we'll know precisely where we are, and then, and then we know how to get to extract because we know where the extract is. So um, let's look around. What do we see? We see a jetty. We see a jetty with a boat at the end. Let's go back to our. Let's go back to our little thing. So we have a jetty with a boat here. There's no other jetties with a boat. There's a jetty here, um, with a boat off to the side, but not like right at the end. Um, there's a boat here, but no jetty. So now we know precisely that, okay, we're here, right? So one thing to know about woods is that in, this is, this is, you know, up, north, north, west, east, south, right? So in the north, in the north, you're always going to have a huge mountain. So go back to your closest high ground. And then look for the huge mountain in the north. That's going to be going to be this this mountain right here. That nice big mountain is always going to be your north, right? So we know if the, if that's north, and we know that our go back to the map. We know that our extract is over here. We're looking north, right? Then we know that we need to turn, we need to turn um, right to get to the extract. So what I want you to do is just is head head to the extract and take note of smaller landmarks along the way. Like you can follow around your large follow your large landmark if you want. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll follow our large landmark around and then get to the extract. So we'll go back to our large landmark. And we know this is our large landmark. We know where, where this is. We know that there is northish because we went to high ground. We located where the mountain was. Now we know that our extract is roughly roughly over there right and and we'll keep an eye on the smaller landmarks as we go okay we're going to follow our large landmark around to the extract Alright, so now we've reached the edge of our large landmark, our big lake, and we know that it is that we must be right here, because the, 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 we followed we followed our large landmark all the way around. And now if you wanted to play it safe and make sure you definitely don't get lost, then you can just hug the edge of the map and eventually you'll get to the UN Roblox, which is your extract. Um, or you could, you know, try going across and like keeping note of when you're crossing the road, when you're crossing a train track, stuff like that. But for now, we'll just um, hug the edge of the map and eventually get to our UN roadblock. All right, so we're pretty close to our extract and we've just been hugging the wall, hugging the wall, hugging the wall. And we'll know that we're in our extract once we see the timer starting to tick down. Extraction in five, four, three, two, one, and done. Now, if this was a live raid, anything that I had picked up, I would keep and be able to sell. Um, now that I've shown you 
how to figure out where you are on the map, how to figure out where your extract is, and then how to get to your extract. I'm now going to show you how to actually find loot, a safe way to find loot, um, so that you can actually make money on your way from your spawn to your extract. All right, now for figuring out where the loot is, I want you to go back into woods, uh, offline mode again, get ready, and now pull up the link in the description, which is my cache guide. Caches are like little loot, hidden loot containers, which on woods are pretty rarely checked. And once you find them, once you know where they are, it's going to provide you with a nice safe um, easy source of loot, reliable loot. So go down the description, pull up my cache guide, and go to right at the start of the guide. Right at the start here, this is the cache guide. Um, basically, so I start from one end of the map and then loop through 34 caches. I loop through 34 caches and show you exactly how to find them. Um, so I would recommend doing one one loop through watching along with the video to learn all 34 caches in an offline mode before going into online raids. So so what, what I'm going to show you now is how to actually find the start of the cache guide, which as you can see here, I'll just move my camera. The camera is UN, oh, the, the RUAF roadblock is the start of our cache guide. All right, so again, like like before, as soon as you load in, prone, double tap O to figure out where your extract is. Uh, we have outskirts this time. Locate outskirts on your map. We're not going to go immediately there, but we're just going to take note of it. Here is outskirts for us. Either outskirts or UN roadblock you'll always have. But this time we want to get to RUAF roadblock, which is down here, right? This is the start of the cache guide video. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a direction, look for either one of our four big landmarks, which is either big river, um, little big long river, big lake, group of small lakes, or a long line of warning signs indicating a minefield. And let's just look around right now. Seems like we spawned right next to a big long river. Now, once we've found our big um, landmark, we're going to locate it on the map. Okay, we've got a big river here, so we know we're somewhere along here, right? Now we're going to look along the river and notice, try to notice any smaller landmarks that come along here. Um, we've got like a wall here. We've got a we've got a bridge. Got a bridge. We've got a power lines crossing the river. Little rocks near, which is which is bumping up against the edge of the river and. And another bridge, which, um, yeah, another bridge kind of on the edge of the map. So there would be like warning signs here and we've got a bridge here. So let's hug the edge of our big landmark until we find one of those landmarks. One of those smaller landmarks. Um, all right. So we have power lines, power lines crossing the river and a bridge up there. So we can tell that we are we are right right here. So now we know exactly where we are. We're right here, with where the power line crosses the water. We know where our extract is, outskirts. But we actually want to go to RUF Roadblock this time for the start of the cash guide video, which is pretty much directly south. Now, if you want to do the safe way, where you have a very low chance of getting lost, you can just follow the edge of the map. Like if we hug, hug, um, left side, we would eventually, eventually get there. However, we can go cross country, like directly, directly south and try to keep an eye on landmarks along the way. Like maybe like rocks, um, cross the road or rocks, maybe like a, like a plain here, more woody area, a town, towns, which would be on our left. Uh, yeah, left, and then this little encampment here, and then we'd eventually get to a road, or maybe a train line, and then 
you know, that we can get to REA for a block. So let's try going cross country this time. So that's our north. Let's 180 from our north, roughly here. And let's go. Alright, we've made it to RUAF Roadblock. As you can probably tell, we've got the lake on our right. Um, and the road. And here, so we are right. We are right here. So all you need to do now is um, load up my guide on like your phone or a second monitor. Hit play and then I literally go through it go through all um well well 34 caches i think they're like 36 now but 34 caches and we go through the entire we go through around the entire map so i would do one pass one one run through this get a feel for where the caches are and then um once you kind of have a vague idea where they are um then pull up pull up the map genie map again and hit hide all and hit caches. So this, this once if you already have a, a good idea of where it is, then this is going to help remind you once you're like in the vicinity. So then, like like say if you're near this cache, then you can click on it, uh, and uh, then it will show you like an image of where it is. So it's going to help you like refine where the caches are. But now. Now, once you've, assuming you've done one pass through um, all the caches, now it's time to go into online raids. So I'm going to demonstrate how you would go about actually making money in an online raid. Now, now that now that what we've covered so far is how to figure out where you are on the map by locating big landmarks um, and then smaller landmarks around the big landmark, how to figure out where your extract is. And then which way is north by looking at the the um, the mountain in the north, and then the path to your extract. Now your goal is going to be to hit any caches, to loot any caches along the way from your spawn to your extract. As simple as that. Really, you really you spawn in somewhere. Let's say you spawn in here. You figure out where your extract is. It could be you and Roblox, or yeah, you and Roblox over here. Then you just want to make a beeline from your spawn to your extract, hitting any caches along the way. And additionally, try to stay in as much cover as you can, whether it's like tree lines or dips in the terrain, try to stay in cover. So we're going to demo that right now. Okay, so now you know how to figure out where you are from spawn, how to figure out where your extract is, how to figure out where north is, and how to get from your spawn to your extract and you also have a vague idea of where the caches are and you have the cache map up on another monitor or on your phone or something now we're going to go into an online raid and put all those pieces together to to go from our spawn loot some caches and get to extract so go to woods um, daytime again, somewhere between 6 a.m. and maybe 18 or 1900. Hit ready. Some quick tips for for online raids in woods: just try to stay in cover in tree lines, dips in the terrain. Try to keep some stamina in reserve. So, like, like, don't let your stamina go say below half, so that if you start getting shot at, you have some stamina to use to sprint away to cover. Um, keep looking around so that you know hopefully you can spot people before they spot you like use free look which is holding the middle mouse button and moving the mouse around while you're running um prone while looting caches so that you know it's um harder to spot you while you're looting 
while you're just staying in one spot and looting. And look at a quest items and hideout items list, which I'll put in the description for to give you an idea of what you um, what you should keep for quests and upgrading your hideout. Um, yeah, and finally, if you have absolutely zero money, then you can do the same run on your scav. So all you need to do is click on the scav instead of PMC and hit ready, um, and you can do this exact same run so as a reminder as soon as we get in we're going to prone hit prone hit double tap o to figure out either if our extract is outskirts or un roadblock and then once we've done that we're going to pick a direction to go in and look for one of four big landmarks once we've found our four big landmarks one of them we're going to look around for a smaller landmark around there so prone double tap o we have outskirts and we actually spawned at the big river again um, which is very easy and we've got the we've got the um, power lines in front of us here so we know where exactly where we are on the map pretty lucky to get this one and north is there so I know that that if you you know if you're looking at the map north there outskirts is towards our southwest so it's gonna be roughly over there our goal is just to um, hit caches along the way to our extract and to stay in tree lines in dips in the terrain and Really and and keep stamina in reserve see a little stamina bar in the bottom. Oh, actually you can't see it one sec. I'll move my camera A little stamina bar down there, which is just recharging keep that A little stamina bar keep that in keep like 50% up um, at all times, just so that you can you can um, sprint if need be. Um, all right, so let's let's do it and have the cache map, the map genie cache map, um, on a second monitor or on your phone or whatever. But if you're struggling to find exactly where the cache is, then pull up my video, and the video will give you more like context, more surrounding context rather than just a um, screenshot of the cache. The video will like look around and pull up the compass, etc. So we're going to keep looking around, keep stamina in reserve. Put our tactical device on. And think about which caches you want to hit along the way. Staying in tree lines, looking around, looking around. So you don't have to hit every cache, just, just ones that are in your path. So there's one right here. And can we prone, prone. Yeah. Stay in tree lines. There is a cache over there we could hit. But eh, yeah, shall we? Okay. Let's uh let's cross. Let's cross here. We we're staying in tree lines. There's a shot over there, so we're gonna avoid that area. Always are looking around, always looking around. Cash right here. Can I can I please burn game? Let me burn. There we go. And then we can either follow this power line or cross for a cash here. Let's go back to our power line, because there were shots over there, so we want to kind of avoid that whole area. That whole area. So nice in the tree line. We're very hard to spot here. Very, very hard to spot.
Uh oh. That was really unlucky. Trying into a player. Like, man. The whole point of the guide was the path so we're not running to players. Oh my god. That was really unlucky. Anyway. Um, let's cross over here. Now, there are caches over there, but it's a bit riskier to go that way, more central, more into the center of the map. So we're just going to stay in the tree lines, because I know that there's, there's a couple of caches up here. Going a nice, safe, safe route. As you can see, this gun can really put them down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, he had 3 in armor, so... He's going to die to anything, really. Um, this is a little bit open, however, it is kind of on the edge of the map, so it should be pretty unlikely that, that, um, we we'll run into people. But we'll keep looking around anyway. Mm, there's a shot over there, but that's where we need to go. Hmm, hmm, our extract is over there, maybe like... 400 meters? Maybe? Hmm. 500? Down there? That cashier. It is a bit open here, but uh, this is literally pretty much the edge of the map, so we should be okay. Hopefully people aren't looking here. Now we can use this little little bit of cover to repack our mag. Remember, like I said, we have a mag which is quite full. Instead of just filling your rig with mags and, you know, it taking up those, taking up loot spots, we can just take an extra 60 rounds and repack when we need. So we'll repack here, regain stamina, and you can, you know, eat and drink here if you want as well. Keep going. Keep going. See, I'm mostly looking in one direction, because I don't have to worry about this side, because it's the edge of the map. Right. Ah, here? Boom. Ah, big bag. We actually, um, get rid of that. No, come back. Control click in. And then pick that up. Nice. Let's go down here. Keeping a track of, like, the smaller landmarks on the map, so that you kind of have an idea of where you are. Like, we've got power lines, and a road, and warning signs, and a fence line, or a wall, I guess, a wall here. So you should be able to, should be able to tell that our extract is down here, our, our outskirts is down there. Bag exception, absolutely master. Absolutely. Bag exception. Exception. Um, can you let dead scab near here? Yes. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if you can. Can you? Without dying? 
Daily to eliminate skeptics using F1s. Oh no. Good luck. Good luck, buddy. Um. Leg scabs? What do you mean? Leg scabs? Refractory naked with nades to wait for them to charge me, I guess. Um. Yeah, maybe. I wonder if they will, um. Not just simply run away. You know what you could do is if if they are running away, you could long range lob them at the sniper scavs on uh, power on shoreline. Then they because they have nowhere to go. Perhaps. Perhaps. Oh, did they disable? Oh, have they disabled broken legs for scavs? Oh, I don't know. That's sad if they did. Did I did I go past outskirts? No, no, it's up here. Get the quest actually impossible. I kept trying to leg them through F1, so don't care if they have broken legs. Hmm. Yeah. If you really do want to get it done, I'd try try the sniper scavs and power. I mean, they're not going to jump off the building, right? All right, and here we are. Here we are. Here we are. And we got out. So the moral, the, like, your goal with these runs is nice, quick runs, getting a little bit of loot every time. Like when you're first starting out, your strength level is going to be quite low. So the threat. So so you're going to get overweight into the yellow weight quite fast. Which means that your stamina is going to burn a lot faster. It's going to recover more slowly, and um, and yeah, generally it's going to be a lot more annoying to to move around the map. So you want to go for lots and lots of short runs, getting a little bit of loot every time, hitting hitting some caches along your route. So that's an example of a live raid. What we're going to do now is just a couple of offline raids. I just want to give you guys a few examples. Um, or figure out where you've spawned. So we're going to load into um, about five offline raids and go through the motions of figuring out where you've spawned and where your extract is and and generally what direction to go to your extract. So let's go So offline again. Woods, 17 offline. Remember, prone immediately. Um, double tap O to figure out whether you have outskirts or UN roadblock. Um, pick a direction to go in. Look for one of four big landmarks, big lake, small lakes, big river, or lots and lots of warning signs. And then look around for the smaller landmarks along along in your area. And, and, and follow your big landmark until you find some of the smaller landmarks. Then you can identify specifically where you are. Then look around for the big mountain in the north so you get your bearings. And then, and then figure out where, uh, which way your, um, which way your extract is roughly given that you know exactly where you are and where north is, and where your extract is. So we're gonna prone, double tap O. We have um, UN roadblock, and then we're going to pick a direction. So may as well just pick the direction that we that we that we spawned in. Go in this direction until we get one of the four big landmarks. All right, we've hit warning signs. So now we know we're somewhere along the warning signs. Um, now we're gonna pick a direction to go in to follow the edge of, the, of our big landmark until we find other landmarks to figure out exactly where we are. And it looks like we're coming up to a big lake. A big, big lake. So we know that we're at the edge of the um, of the mines and the lake. And we can look. We'll go get some high ground and look to see where north is. We see the hill, hill in the north. And we know that our extract is, again, 
UN roadblock style extract is roughly over there. Um, and if you ever get lost, just you know keep looking around for smaller landmarks in your area, and you can repeat the steps of you know looking for a big landmark, identifying where north is, and then re-identifying where your extract is. Um, so we would just like follow along here, hit, hit any caches along the way, and then get to our extract, and we're out. And let's do it again. Um, so we're gonna prone immediately. Prone immediately, double tap O to check our extracts, which we have outskirts this time. You're either looking for outskirts or UN roadblock. Look around for, we're going to pick a direction and look around for our big landmark. Either big lake, small lakes, big river, or warning signs for the mines. And now as you can kind of see here, we've actually spawned in the middle of a bunch of small lakes. So this is probably one of the harder areas to figure out exactly where you are. Um, but if you're looking around, we can see we have a lake here with a village on the side. There's a church there. There's a lake over here with a jetty. And there's actually only one lake on the map that has, well, one of the, well, only one small lake on the map that has a jetty. Um, so we'll pull that up right now. Look through them all, as you can see. No jetty, no jetty, no jetty, no jetty, no jetty. Um, lake with a kind of a village or a town. Lake, lake with a jetty. No jetty. So we know that we're somewhere around here. And now all we can do is simply go right to the jetty and then we'll know exactly where we are, right? So let's go to the start of the jetty. Start of the jetty. So we know precisely that we are right, that we are right, right here. And the jetty is pointing north, you know, or you can, or you could just go look, turn around and look at the, look at the hill. Um, and our extract is outskirts, so we know that we have to go roughly, roughly over there to our extract. And then we just, you know. Um, look at our cache map, hit caches along the way, and get out. We'll do this, we'll do this one more time. Alright, so we're going to prone, um, double tap O to check our tracks, and this time we have UN roadblock, and then we're going to pick a direction to go in and look for one of our four landmarks. Um, yes, yes, looking around, looking around. Looking around, jumping, looking. You know, as you as you get more familiar with like the map itself, you know, you'll notice small landmarks like this is Scab Hut, and you won't need to look for um, the four big landmarks. But this is yeah, yeah. This is if you if you still haven't sort of gotten a feel for the map, then this is the method to go through. Looking for either big lake, small lakes, big river, or warning signs with mines on the other side. So, we found a big lake. And we have, we're at a jetty with a boat at the end. So we know that we're precisely right. Got a big lake here. There's only one jetty at the big lake with a boat at the very end. So we know we're right here. And then our extract is is over here, northern uh, well, UN roadblock, and north is go up to high ground, spot the mountain. North is over there, so our extract is over there. Easy as that. Then we'll hit the um, you know, hit caches along the way, and get out. Um, I think that's the last one we'll do. Let me know if you'd like more examples in the comments. In summary, we've looked at a starting loadout, uh, like everything that you need for a starting loadout, like bag, um, rig, gun, headset, uh, meds as well. Um, show, I've showed you how to figure out where you are off spawn and where your extract is and how to get from your spawn to your extract. I've also showed you how to get 
from your spawn to the start of my cash guy video um, which is at the RUF roadblock and then to follow the cash guy video just once maybe twice if, if it if, you, if you're struggling to remember remember where they are and then how to navigate an online raid by you know spawning figure out where you are um, hit the caches along your route to your extract go for nice quick raids where you're just picking up a little bit of loot um, getting in getting out and sticking to sticking to cover like tree lines dips into terrain um keep some salmon in the reserve and just in case you need to run keep looking around for other players prone while looting caches and look at the quest items list and hideout list which i'll put in the description to give you an indication of what um what are some important items to keep and finally if you have absolutely zero money um then run your scav and do the same strat by like you spawn in, figure out where your extract is, and then hit the caches along the way from your spawn to your extract. And finally, I've included a online raid of me actually doing this, um, as well as three practice examples of me spawning in into offline raids, figuring out where I am, figuring out where my extract is, and yeah. So hopefully that helps. Let me know if there is anything um, anything more? Any any questions that you have in the comments? And uh, yeah, good luck. Good luck. Hope hopefully that helps. I'm hoping that you can send this to any new player who hasn't played any any Tarkov raids at all, and that this is an all-in-one guide to get them from complete being completely new to Tarkov to being able to actually make money independently without any hand holding. That is the goal. I'll catch you next time.